Hello, this is Andrew, the CEO of Quantdata. In today's video, I'll be giving a quick overview of the Quantdata platform. We'll go over what it is, what it does, and the different tools that it has to offer. I'll also leave a link in the description below that allows you to sign up to our free 7-day trial, where you can go ahead and check out and test the platform for yourself. So, what exactly is Quantdata? Quantdata is a fintech company that offers low-cost access to options order flow. We provide actionable market insights, including real-time options order flow, dark pool prints, alerts, live news, and a plethora of other analytical tools. Our goal is to reduce information asymmetry between retail traders and institutional traders. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get right into what the platform has to offer. So once you've signed up to the free trial and you log into the platform, this is what you're going to see. This is the main dashboard of the platform. So we'll go ahead and give a quick overview of the different components that you see here, as well as the different tools that we offer. So up top here are our market wide statistics. These statistics are based off of every options trade in the market. Below that is our real time options order flow feed. This feed consolidates orders into sweeps, blocks and splits. And any trade that an institution or a high capital trader makes often will be a large size. So that size is oftentimes split up into multiple different orders, even though they submitted one massive order. So what we go ahead and do is we consolidate those individual little orders that are printing on the tape and we present them to you as these sweeps, blocks and splits. So they are a great tool to, to see where smart money is trading, to see what smart money is trading. And these are updating throughout the day and they are a spectacular tool for you to use. Along with the normal contract details, the expiration date, the strike price, the contract type, we also provide you with the bid and ask side that the trade executed on. And this is very important. I've written an article on it that you can access in our help center that will also be linked in the description. But basically you can tell whether this trade was a buy or a sell, whether it's bullish or bearish based on what side it's on, whether it's on the bid side or the ask side. Another piece of data that we show is the execution type. This is the method of execution that that trade was executed through. So let's say that trade was executed through the floor, or let's say that trade was an intermarket sweep order, or if that trade went through an auction, or if that trade was a multi-leg order, in other words, a spread that executed through the floor, it would show right here, just as it did as a spread floor. So there's over 20 different execution types. And I wrote an article on this that will be in our help section. And I'll show you how you can get to the help section and look at these different execution types. To the right of the execution type, we have the type of consolidation. So whether it's a sweep block or split, if you don't know what a sweep block or split is, that's also in the help section. And then to the right of that, we have the volume and open interest. And if you click on any order, a modal will pop up and the modal has all the details I just showed you on the feed, as well as implied volatility and the Greeks. You can also click the chart of the stock and you can also calculate the profit, which I'll get to in a later portion of the video. Another thing that we show on the, on the order flow feed is whether these trades are unusual. Use our proprietary system to determine whether trades are unusual or not and on the feed they'll display as this highlighted blue trade here. In addition to that, we also have the golden sweeps. Let me find one here. Here's a golden sweep, right? So a golden sweep is just highlighted gold here on, on the left hand side and the trades are highlighted as well. So you'll be able to see if it's a golden sweep. A golden sweep is a large trade with a premium over 1 million. And this is another thing that our proprietary system catches for you. So you can look at, look at them and also filter them. Up top here, the top left hand corner of the options order flow feed is our filters button. So if you click the filters, you can see our different filtering options. You'll see that you can filter by ticker, you 
could filter by premium, you could filter by the size of the trade, you could filter by consolidation type, contract type, the money type, whether it's in the money, at the money, out of the money. You could filter in or out unusual trades, opening positions, golden sweeps. You could also set an expiration date that you wanna look at, and you could also include the bid, uh, below bid or mid market side, or you could exclude them depending on whatever you want. You know, let's say we're filtering Apple. We just type in ticker and then apply the filter. And you see that we have all the trades for Apple. That pretty much finishes up the options order flow feed. There's a lot you can do with this. There's a lot of different filtering combinations that you could put together. So moving on to our next feature here, we have the quant alerts below the options order flow feed. These are proprietary alerts that everybody loves. They are directional alerts on different tickers every single day. They're sent throughout the market hours. We suggest taking a look at these, putting them on your watch list when they come through, and you know, just keeping an eye on them and potentially playing them and applying your strategies and what you know to them. Up in the top left hand corner of the quant alerts table, we have a voice alerts button. If you turn it on, whenever an alert comes through during market hours, it'll say the alert out loud. To the right of the quant alerts, we have our live news and sentiment. This is something that really separates us from our competitors. We show a live feed of news on our site that updates in real time. So these headlines will come through in real time and you'll be able to see what's going on throughout the day. You'll be constantly up to date with what's going on in the market. We show the date and time in which they come through. We show the topic, we show the tickers, and these are actual articles that you can click on, right? And you can go ahead and read the article and they're, they are spectacular. You can also click this filters button here. And if you wanna look at specific news for a ticker, you can filter by ticker. Or if you wanna look at a specific topic or a specific type of asset, you could filter by topics here. So you'll see if we wanna, let's say we wanted to filter the analyst ratings, we can apply that. And you'll see, we'll see our upgrades, our downgrades, and our, our news related to that topic. On the right hand side here, you'll see our gainers and losers. This is based off of the options order flow. It's every order that comes in, the premium for that order, determine whether that those trades were bullish or bearish and we display them as the top gainers or top losers. If you click this button here, you can see the top losers. Above the gainers and losers, we have the dark and lit pool prints. Dark pool prints are orders that have executed off the exchange and in an alternative trading system, whereas lit pool prints are trades that are submitted through the typical order book on, on the normal US exchanges. Uh, the lip pool prints will show with a, a white highlight on the left hand side. In the top left hand corner of the dark and lip pool prints, we have the filters. So if you click on the filters, you can filter by ticker, you can filter by price, size, or notional value. Let's say you want to filter for SPY. Just type it in, and then you apply the filter and you can see all the dark and lit pool prints for SPY. At the very top here, we have a global ticker filter. So let's say you wanna filter every feed on the dashboard by a ticker, you just type a ticker in. So we type in Apple and it filters every feed by Apple. So that pretty much concludes what you'll see on the dashboard. If you come over here to the left hand side, you'll see different tabs for different tools that we offer outside of what you see on the dashboard. So if you click this here, you'll see that we have historical news and sentiment. This updates in real time as well, so you can also use it as a feed if you'd like. But you can filter the tickers and, and the different topics here. If you move on to the next tab, you'll see the historical options order flow. You can set a range of dates that you wanna look at, and then you just submit it, and you could look at that range of dates. Moving on to this here, this is the historical dark pool, as well as the dark pool levels. 
So the historical dark pool, you, you can filter here. And then the dark pool levels are a very neat tool that we created. So what you would do is you type in a ticker here. So let's put in SPY and then let's choose a start date and submit it. What these are is they are specific levels that are being traded in these alternative trading systems, right? So institutions are trading these specific levels. So for example, you see this $415 and 22 cents. There was $3.19 billion traded at this specific level. And you'll see this is the largest level that has been traded on. So these levels can act as a support and resistance. I highly recommend using them. They're a very neat tool. We'll go ahead and move on here to the stock reports. So you go ahead and type a ticker in here. We'll go ahead and put Apple in here. And you submit it and what you get is a 12 page stock report that goes over many different technical and fundamental points it gives an average score of that stock based off of these different fundamental and technical points it goes over price and volume charts it goes over different indicator components it does a peer analysis against apple's competitors it breaks it down into momentum, valuation, fundamental analysis. It gives you a bunch of information on analysts, earnings, and many, many different, different components that you can look at, whether it's relative valuation, risk, or price momentum. At the very bottom of these stock reports are complete descriptions for every detail that's in the stock report. So if you're looking at the indicator trend, right? This is a description of what the indicator trend looks at. Same thing with relative valuation or anything that are in these stock reports. So uh, we'll make a future video that goes in more in depth about how you can use these, but this is just a basic overview of what you get on the stock reports. So moving on to the next tab, we have our charting tab, which is just a simple trading view chart here. So you can go ahead and you know, chart whatever you need, put some indicators on it and look at it. We also have our gainers and losers accessible here. So if you want to sort of get a higher level overview of the gainers and losers, you can look at them and you can also compare them uh, here. So moving on to the next tool, this is our options profit calculator. So you can input the contract details and then calculate profit. I'm actually going to go to the dashboard and click a trade here let's click this SPX trade and I'll calculate it through the modal on the dashboard and you'll see that we have the profit calculated here um, as we get closer to expiration and you can do this for any contract details we in the future will be implementing different strategies as well so you'll be able to calculate profit on spreads and whatnot what this tab is here is this is the affiliate statistics tab. So we actually have an affiliate program where if you refer people, the person that you refer gets 20% off of their subscription for three months. And you also get 20% of their subscription for every month for as long as they're subscribed. Below the affiliate statistics tab, you'll see the education and help center. So if you click this, the education and help center will pop up. You'll see that I'll pop up here in the bottom right hand corner. You could just click this and you can message our support team and we'll respond to you uh, pretty much at any point. Also, we have a bunch of useful articles that you can reference. We have educational content that goes over an array of different things. You'll see over here that I, I was talking about the trade types earlier. You could click that and you could look at all the different trade types here. I've brought us back to the dashboard here. That pretty much concludes the overview of the platform. I wanna thank everybody for watching. Also, don't forget to sign up to a free seven day trial. The link will be in the description. There's no commitments and you can cancel any time. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and our other social media so you can stay up to date with any new features that we come out with or any new educational or tutorial videos that are posted on the channel. Thank you and have a great day.